Hello, and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Uh, let's just get right into this battle toads. Battle toads? Battle toads, all right? What 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 is happening? 2021. We got battle toads now? What? Hey, do you have battle toads? What okay, so let me back let me back up. Um this company, which is called I lost their name, Premium DNA Toys. All right. Truth be told, never heard of them until now. But these pictures uh, look pretty legit. I guess they're doing a Battletoads line. So those of you that don't know, um, us 90s kids were inundated. If you ever opened the comic book, if you ever went to a, to a, 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 to a, a video game store with Battletoads. Battletoads was an NES game. The hardest game ever, maybe not ever. Ninja Ninja Gaiden was pretty pretty fucking hard too, but um, Battle Toads was was certainly very very difficult. And uh, you know, a uh, uh, fun game. I remember really liking it. I remember the pause screen. You hit the pause, had the music <laughs> out of nowhere. Now Battle Toads is one of these things, and I think they made an animated series. Battle Toads is one of these things that was always sort of like, kind of like a cousin of the the hype. Uh, or a cousin of Ninja Turtles. And when I say a cousin, I mean after Ninja Turtles came out, if you don't know, there was a bunch of like these like rip-off Ninja Turtle uh, uh, properties that came out either as uh, cartoons or uh, video games. Battletoads was definitely one of them. Street Sharks was another. I'm not saying they're bad. They, you know, I, I actually like Street Sharks and, um, and there's more that I'm just not thinking of. But... Uh, you know, this was always uh, uh, sort of associated with the Nintendo game, um, uh, which was a two-player beat em up I know there were different, three different characters. Uh, uh, there was uh, Zitz. Zitz is this guy. Pimple. And there was another dude. Fuck, what was his name? There was a, a green toad, a light green toad, and a yellow toad. Pimple. Rash. Rash. Zitz, Rash, and Pimple. And um, so this uh, uh, um, property has now been picked up by this company, Premium DNA Toys. Do you guys know anything about them? Because I don't. Um, so, and I'm going on their website, and I don't, uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen any of these figures. Now, um, the, the line or this first wave looks like it is, and by the way, I'm reading off the names because I don't remember the names of these fucking villains at all. Uh, you got Porca Pig. I remember visually this guy, but like, I, you know, gun to my mother's head. I couldn't tell you uh, uh, who this character is. And I love my mother. Um, so, Porca Pig, six inch scale action figures, 31 points of articulation. Then you got this Rat Bones guy. He looks pretty dope. Six inch scale action figure, three shields for building game accurate armies, 31 points of articulation. And then you have the reason why I'm even making a video about this uh, Zitz right here, six inch scale. Uh, action figure, 29 points of articulation, interchangeable attachments, giant fist, giant, um, what is that? Giant, I guess, foot. If you remember, when you did special moves with these guys, like their, 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 their fists would turn giant or you'd have like a spike boot <clears throat> that came out and uh, looks like you, kind of, you can kind of put those parts in. And this Zitz has two different faces. He's got a, the, the drill and... He looks like he's fairly articulated, and not only that, he looks like he'd scale with a lot of the Ninja Turtles action figures that you got right now, whether it's NECA or Super 7. So I definitely, definitely want to know more about this line. And this is reveal number three. It looks like they got one more reveal, which is one more Battletoad. I think it's a smaller one, not the big yellow one, but the other one, either Pimple or... I, I know it was Rash, Pimple, and Zitz. I, I, who's who? I couldn't fucking tell you. I know one of them has sunglasses, though. Um, but yeah, I, 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 these are just so nostalgic to me. Battletoads is just such like an iconic, you know, I just remember opening comic books and in the back of comic books or somewhere there would always be an advertisement for Battletoads. So <clears throat> if these look, I mean, if these come out, uh, uh, come out looking good, I definitely am going to be interested in them. I want to see. Uh, first of all, uh, I don't think they released any pricing. And I went to their site and um, didn't see anything on their site. So everything that I'm seeing is from their Facebook um, uh, uh, from their Facebook page, Premium DNA Toys. But Battletoads, 
I'm excited to see what these guys look like and uh, and uh, possibly adding them to the collection because yeah, they'll really really fit in with the old uh, with the old Turtle Brothers. Um, what else? Moving right along, um, statue people, Tweeterhead, Masters of the Universe line. Um, they are uh, uh, doing a kick-ass job in pumping out these Master of the Universe statues. <clears throat> My fucking throat. Um, so the Hordak was their first kind of go at it. And then the next one that is coming out is Tila. And they just revealed the Tila. And here's what it looks like. Tila Legends, Maquette Reveal. This is in their newsletter. Uh, well, folks, here she is in all her awesome glory. One of the most powerful heroic warriors in all of Eternia, Tila, exclamation point, exclamation point. The Tila Legends, Maquette, is finished and ready to go. We're so excited for her gallery reveal on Tuesday, April 6, 2021, and she goes up for sale. Thursday, April 8th, 2021 at 9 a.m. PST, noon EDT. What are the swap outs? What's the exclusive? What's the info on the base? More info coming soon. RSVP. Uh, I am in for this one. I am all in on this line, okay? I don't care if I lose my job. I don't care. I'm getting these Masters of the Universe figures somehow. I will sell a kidney to do that. Although my kidney is probably not worth as much as this fucking Tila. Um, what I love about this line is, uh, and what I've loved even when they did the Sideshow version, is they have found a great way to kind of integrate the realism into Master of the Universe cartoons. So, um, you know, if you're a fan... I feel like I got to sneeze. Three, two, one. No. Okay. Um, if you're a fan of Masters of the Universe, this isn't one of these things where it's so off model that it's like, what's the point? This is Tila. I mean, this is Tila. And um, oh, they also have a switch out, uh, which is, where is it? Well, it's going to be right here eventually. But uh, it is uh, the Tila with uh, uh, the, the snake staff. So, um, you know, Tila, Iconic Snake Staff. Uh, why can't I say Snake sta Snake Staff? Um, also, Snake Armor is something that a lot of people were kind of guessing. Is that going to be like a switch out? Is she going to have? Although, I don't know how you do that with a statue. It's like a whole new buck. But there's definitely going to be this Snake Staff. And um, although it is cool, I like the sword and the shield a lot more. Um, and she's going to look really great with the She-Ra and all that. So if you are a Masters of the Universe junkie... Um, I would be prepared on April 6th because I feel like unless they up the amount, it's going to go pretty fast. The exclusive, at least, is going to go pretty fast. Um, so all you statue peoples, um, yeah, get in on that. Uh, and then what else happened? Oh, I finally broke and I bought the Thunder Tank. I don't know why I waited. Okay, it's not like I wasn't going to get it anyway, but... Something I thought that was really interesting is the Super 7 Thunder Tank. Yes, very pricey. Yes, but Sideshow Collectibles is selling it. And Sideshow has a really good flex pay option where you can do 50 bucks a month um, until it gets there. So uh, uh, until it arrives. So I opted for that. So uh, very excited. Uh, this was the last day to get the Thunder Tank on Super 7. But you'll be able to get it for now until supplies last in other places like sideshow like um who else uh, uh uh big bad toy store a few of those guys got it so you know take that for what it's worth thundercat fans and that's it i also did a little bit of a toy run uh um uh, uh earlier today went to target saw hey maybe maybe i could uh uh maybe maybe the the, the turtles in disguise four pack uh dropped i'll uh i'll put up that video why not and you can kind of see how my local targets are stocked to the brim. They're not with NECA products. Um, spoiler, they're not. But uh, anyway, thought I'd put that up too. That is all I have uh, for toy news of the week. Really excited about this Battletoads though. I'm, I, I want to see more. Hey, new companies got to, uh, companies got to start somewhere. And if these end up looking as good as they do, in, uh, in, in these photos, uh, maybe they have something here. Maybe they can kind of like get to the next level because Battletoads is a pretty good property. I mean, I don't think you can go too deep into it. You know, I mean, how many people know, you know, the ins and outs of Battletoads? But I think having the core characters would be really, really cool, especially in scale with some of the other shit. Anyway, that's it.
comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll go to a toy hunt right here, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to another Met Eater review. I'm doing an Australian accent for some reason. Um, just going through the toy aisles, uh, seeing, seeing what's up. Hoping to find, what is this, Funko Pop? Hoping to find some NECA stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look. Jack Squat in this target. Um, but let's see. Hot Rod is like the redheaded stepchild that nobody wants. Uh, we got a bunch of empty aisles. We have Gozer, we have Gozerian. Who do we have? We got Dana Barrett and more Dana Barrett. Um, I don't see any G.I. Joes. I do see some Marvel Legends. We got Peter B. Parker. Lots of Peter B. Parkers. We got Marvel Frogman. I like that Frogman, but I am not collecting uh, Marvel Legends. At least right now. We have here, we got some DC. We got the Multiverse Robin. This Robin's pretty cool. Uh, we got Joker. It's weird. It's like Solomon Grundy. What else do we have? We got Batman Earth 2. What is this? Alright, I'm obviously not familiar with this. But I guess that's Batman Earth 2. And then we have that Robin again. So we have Man, Skeletor, Battle Cat. Alright. We got some Star Wars. Look at these empty Star Wars shelves. One Jar Jar. Anybody wanted Jar Jar? No? Going once, twice? Alright, I think I found the NECA aisle. So I see some NECA products. But I don't see any sign of Ninja Turtles or four packs or any of that stuff. We got some Toonie Terrors. There you go. This Beetlejuice, which I probably should get at some point. Victor Crowley, Ghostface, Nosferatu. Um, Marty McFly, Back to the Future. But that's about it. This place is dry. Look at this. There's like Funkos here at one point. This is like the I Am Legends NECA Isle. It's just like post-apocalypse, nothing here. Um, well, they got this Annabelle. There you go. Creepy ass Annabelle put in your house and uh, buyer beware. Um, we got all these phone killers. Not all these phone killers. <laughs> you got Bubba Wallace Jr. Every kid's uh, dream. I don't know what is that, NASCAR? I don't even know what that is. Um, a bunch of Bubba Wallace Juniors. And then a bunch of these uh, multiverse Wonder Woman DC figures as well. Um, um, Man, I do love this line, but I dare not. I dare not get into it. Um, so yeah, this target's bust. I think uh, we call it a day here. What is this? Animation? Animation collector pack? I, I see Hank Hill, okay? I see Hank Hill, there's a problem. All right. But I don't see him here. What's... Oh my God, Bobby Hill? What's with these proportions? Look at this Hank Hill. <laughs> what is going on with this? Look at this Dale. This target was a bust. No G.I. Joes, no Funkos, but especially no NECA. But uh, yeah, I feel like that four pack is gonna drop. That Turtles in Disguise four pack is gonna drop any day now. And, uh, and then thus begins the, the Disguise Wars because they're gonna be all over eBay, all over the forums. I'm predicting 250 to 300, so I don't know. Um, that might be it. That might be all I got for now. Anyway, um, we do another toy run, we'll uh, start. You know what, I might go to the Lego store. Maybe I'll record that. Um, but uh, if I don't, see you next time, bye-bye.